Hey guys, part two. Okay, <clears throat> so we we're just talking about my eyeliner, um, pencil form. I like Mac. This obviously isn't Mac. It's like a dollar store, but I can't find my Mac. Um, the other trick that I like is I just picked this up. It's Revlon Color Stay, and it's like a liquid pen. You guys can see it. There we go. And the pen is nice, fine point. I don't like this for like lids or even just the cat eye. I find for some reason the color is like not very nice and it's not even dark. It's yeah, it's faded. But for eyebrow coloring, this is really random, but I really like it for coloring your eyebrows. So that is what I use for my eyebrows. And usually only my eyebrows only unless I need to like do fixes during the day or whatever. So that's that. <clears throat> uh, my next product that I will show you guys, just accessory wise, um, some things I like besides my purse, you guys seen my wallets and my purse. This is cheap. I got it at a dollar store, but it's Ed Hardy apparently. Probably not, but uh, it's pretty thick little wallet. And that's that. Um, okay, so it was my birthday on May eighth, and I was really excited because there's been this hoodie that I've been wanting from a store in Portland, Marie called Halo Stature. Awesome, awesome store. So much cool stuff. A little bit pricey though, but really wicked stuff. Anyways, um, I got this hoodie. It's a porn ink hoodie. That's the brand name, porn ink. Let me back up here. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. Okay. So this is what's on the back. <laughs> very, very sexy. I like it. And here is the logo that's on the front. I don't know if you guys can see it. Ricky something. <laughs> Worldwide porn ink. And then on the other end, it's just got in red writing the word porn ink on the sleeve. It's, it's like the cutest hoodie and it is a girl's fit but it's not like super huggy. It's fit like a little bit looser and then it's got the nice band at the bottom to kind of tuck in. So I like that. Um, and yeah. And so what I'll do now since you guys know what's in my bag, some like one clothing outfit. I will do a clothing tutorial, not tutorial but video of some of my outfits when I have better outfits to show you guys. Um, oh, and my necklace got from Warehouse One. It's my new favorite accessory, I guess you could say, besides my hoodie. Alright, <clears throat> so if you guys can hear the music, I did turn it back on, so it's too loud, I'm sorry. Um, what else now? Okay. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Hmm. <laughs> um, I will show you guys some of my piercings on my face. I won't tell you guys where all my piercings are because, like I said before, you guys don't need to know where all of them are. But I will show you some of my face stuff. Um, I did used to work in a piercing studio. So, I will show you guys first is my ears. They are half inch in diameter. And it's just the stainless steel. I only have them with one of the flares because mine stay in. Some people like the double flares. I don't because... My ears are stretched out so I can take them in and out no problem, but I just don't like, I don't know. They've never been comfortable for me. Um, my second holes just have standard like belly button size, so I don't know. I Between a 14 and a 12 gauge is in there right now. They are stretched to fit a 6 to a 4 gauge, but I don't like having two holes. On me personally, I don't like having two holes stretched. My next ones are just your standard little 18 gauge like captive bead rings. Then I have my tragus done. If you guys can see that. And then my nose, obviously. I stretched my nose. I got it done with like the small little stud that most girls get. And I didn't like how small it was. So I stretched it to um, like eyebrow ring size. And the old piercing studio, I'm totally going to pick this out in front of you guys. The old piercing studio I worked for in Kamloops called Instinct Adornments. Um, Jenna there, she's awesome. She made these things called Creoles. And it's just where she takes the ring itself and she kind of like bends it to like custom fit your nose perfectly. And it's super comfy. And just goes in like that. Um, I also have my vertical labrette, which just goes right through my lip. It's a barbell. It's exact. It's like an eyebrow barbell that I actually have in there right now. Um, I do have the, <clears throat> like, I forget what it's called. It starts with a P, but anyways, it's like this uh, fishing line type of material that you thread your beads on instead of having steel through your lip or stainless steel whatever 
I'm gonna get comments on that, I know it. Um, this year, same thing. This drew in my second hole is a little bit bigger. And same for my third hole. I have my industrial done, and then I also have another ring up here, just a horseshoe ring up here above my industrial. I did have my conch all the way out to, it's like an inverse lobe. My conch all the way out to my low pierce, but it didn't heal very nicely, so I pulled that out. Um, I used to have my sternum done, and I had an accident in jumping into a pool where it was like basically halfway ripped out. So that's gone. I'm a tongue. Um, yeah. And that's all that I'm going to tell you guys about. <laughs> um, as for tattoos, the ones you can see right now is I have just an old school heart on my arm. And I got this when I was 16, I think. Yeah, 16. Um, and it says, these scars make me. It's, I get questioned all the time. I don't really like going into the meaning of it, because... I think meaning changes for things. At one point in my life, it meant something when I got it, and then now it kind of means something totally different. But I like it. I have my girlfriend's initials in the Big Dipper on my wrist with our the first. My girlfriend's name's Jamie, and then our first dog together is named Ebony, so that's what that is. The back of my neck, which I will try and turn around for you guys to see. I don't know if you can see it. Leopard print. Leopard print in like a tribal kind of style or whatever. I don't know. I got that. It was my first tattoo. I do have my whole back done with wings, but it's not done yet, and I don't feel like showing it until it is done, because I think that's tacky. Um, I do have my stomach done, but I don't feel like getting up right now showing you guys. It just says, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, and it's between my hip bones, but I will make a video and show you guys that one. Um, yeah, that's it for tattoos for now. I do plan on getting one up here in Fort McMurray, and I will go to Forever Ink, which is attached to Halo Statue right now. Um, because some of the tattoo artists they've been bringing in are just, like, amazing. I've been featured in Savage Tattoo Magazine and stuff like that. So I'll be going there if anyone's interested. I don't even know if anyone from Fort McMurray is going to watch this, so I'm just kind of saying names if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, other than that... That's about it, guys. That's me in a nutshell. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any requests or you want to know some more information about the products I've talked about or what other products I like to use, um, just let me know. Let me know what you're interested in. Let me know what you want to know. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to make because I'm really new at this still. So, yeah. Um, the other video I'm going to post on here soon is... Oh, if I can remember, I think I'm going to try and do an apartment tour of the, the place we're living in right now. And then, after that, I wouldn't mind doing a video of just like a drive around Fort Mac or whatever. But I don't know. We'll go from there. We'll see how it is. So, I'm signing off. And I hope you guys liked the video. And like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, please, 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 please let me know. And I will do as much stuff as I can in the next couple weeks. I know I've been delayed. I'll try, you guys. I'll try. Okay. Bye, YouTube.